It's not common that blind people have a chance to meet guide dog puppies. My kids don't know it yet, but we're having some fun with puppies today. They're just getting in from Australia. They're on their way to Nova Scotia. They've got a stop over here in Ottawa at the CNIB Guide Dog School. And maybe someday they might be my next guide dog. Who knows? Over the past 32 years, I've had five great guide dogs. They're all different. They're all amazing. And um, they all have a special part in my heart. And I wish each one of them could have lived as long as I have, but that's not the case with dogs, which means getting a new guide dog every so often. It's a tough transition, but you got to do it. My name is Karen Hanlon. I am the manager of canine development and training at CNIB Guide Dogs. Hello, puppies. Hi, baby. Hey, they're at the door. They're here, you guys. <laughs> Puppies. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, how are you? Come on Hi. in. Hi, thank you. Oh, my God, it's cold out oh, there. It's freezing. I'll let you close the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on in. Come on in. I don't want to squish a puppy. <laughs> There's puppies, right? Yes. It's <laughs> very nice to meet you. You too, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, I've got my hands full here. Oh, oh wait. Well, <laughs> look at that fluff ball. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Caught. And these little guys have just come from Australia. Are they? From summer in Hello, Australia. Mike. Hey, Mike. To How winter in Canada. <laughs> A lot of people ask us why we get our dogs from Australia, and the answer is simply because CNIB Guide Dogs. We are such a young organization that we don't have our own breeding program yet. Um, we plan to do that in the future, but in the meantime, we wanted to ensure that the dogs that we got were the best quality we could possibly get. And then this is the other little girl, Aww. and she's yellow, so she's quite pale. Oh, look at this one, her tail's going crazy. She said, like, come on and let's sit down and talk and get to know each other, and we got a hundred questions asked. Oh, well. uh, we do use uh, exclusively Labrador Retrievers and Golden Retrievers, and a cross of those two, simply because those are the ones that just tend to have the highest success rate. Karen takes care of all the uh, breeding and the uh, and the placement in the foster families, the selecting of the foster families where the puppies go and training those foster families, making sure that those one-year-old dogs that come back have the best training possible. So they'll start with uh, with just the, the house training. They'll just get them used to the family, get them used to their new home, and pretty quickly they start okay. doing the main role, which is to, to socialize them. Yeah. So start taking them all over the place and get them used to anything and everything that they will be uh, exposed to as guide dogs. Yeah. What we would like to get back is a confident, happy, a uh, puppy that's ready to face the world. So they have been exposed to all kinds of different environments and situations uh, to prepare them for becoming a guide dog. So these puppies, they have no idea what they're supposed to do at mealtime. So we're just gonna start to teach them because when they're older, what they, what they will do is learn to sit and wait until the whistle blows. So they don't know how to do that yet. There we go. <laughs> there you go. There and if you, you go. keep your puppy at the bowl, so if they don't. start to go away, make sure they stay there so they don't go into each other's Listen bowl. to that. Listen to that sound. Okay. Good. No. no. This one really wants to yeah. yeah. We're really excited because we it, like we have this is the first time where we're actually like old enough to like, it, like enjoy the process of getting a new dog. Cause when we got our last dog, Moby, we were like, I was, I think five and you were, he was like, you were three. So we didn't really remember anything about getting Moby. So it's gonna be fun. Like we actually get to like live the experience for real. Karen, thank you so much. This You're has been really welcome. a great introduction to uh, the whole puppy process. Oh, we're so happy. I know you don't do this for everybody. Oh, uh, it's, with, well, it's a know. pleasure. And we had them here, and before they head off to their puppy raisers, it was nice to give you a chance to just meet them. And, uh, I think it's important yeah. that people understand there is a process. Uh, there you know, sure that, is, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's all thought out, it's well calculated, yeah. and it's everything's for a reason. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, it starts it starts at age eight. This My goodness. Where, this is My where goodness. it all starts. And yeah. you can see now they've eaten. I bet they'll fall asleep in no time at all. They're starting to really settle down. <laughs> well, Karen just left with the four puppies, man, and I'll tell you, it was hard to rip them out of my kids' arms. 
I didn't even want to let him go. I, you know, it would have been nice if I could have raised one myself and to be my next guide dog. But what's the chance of me picking the right guide dog? The best match for me would have been, you know, one in a thousand. So that's why it's probably not a good idea that blind people raise their own puppies to be guide dogs because you never know how that's going to turn out. My favorite puppy was uh, the black one. Yeah. The black one? Yeah. The black female? Mine too. She was my favorite. She seemed to like Dad too. Nice. She seemed to always go on his lap. You have to make sure right. that you don't get into anything. <laughs> Where, are you so, uh, Where are you going? Where are you going with your toy? It was great meeting Karen. My family sure enjoyed playing with the four puppies. Wish I could have kept one, though. 